In 2016 a new Polish main battle tank was revealed. It is called the PT-16. It is a significantly upgraded version of the PT-9120, which in turn is an improved and locally produced version of the Soviet T-72. The PT-16 has an upgraded hull of the PT-91 or T-72, fitted with add-on composite armor kit. The upper side of the hull is protected by applique composite armor panels. This add-on armor was supplied from Germany. Lower side of the hull is protected by rubber skirts. Original cast turret was also fitted with add-on composite armor. Protection level of the upgraded tank improved comparing with that of the PT-91 Tordy. Developers claim that maximum protection level of the turret's front arc is equivalent to 1000 mm of rolled homogeneous armor RHA. PT-16 tank can be motorized with three types of engine from 1000 to 1200 horsepower. It can run at a maximum road speed of 70 km per hour and 40 km per hour in off-road conditions. The torsion bar suspension each side consists of six road wheels with the idler at the front, drive sprocket at the rear and three return rollers. The PT-16 is able to negotiate slope up to 30 degrees and side slope of 25 degrees maximum. It can cross a trench of 2.8 meters, climb a vertical obstacle of 0.85 meters maximum and can ford water obstacles up to meters deep without preparation. In PT-16 the original Soviet-made 125mm cannon is replaced by a new 120mm 50 caliber NATO standard smoothbore cannon TGMSB-120 from Slovakia or an Ukrainian KBM-2 gun chambered for 120 by 570 mm NATO standard ammunition. The turret of the PT-16 is equipped with a new autoloader for ammunition located at the rear of the turret designed by the Polish company ZMT. It has a total of 22 rounds of ready-to-use ammunition which enables the PT-16 a rate of fire of 12 rounds per minute. The new gun is capable to fire latest ammunition as the 120mm DM-63 ABF SDS and DM-11 high explosive rounds. Secondary armament of the PT-16 includes a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun mounted to the right of the main armament and one ZSMU A4 remotely controlled weapon station. RWS, mounted to the right of turret roof which can be armed with one WKM 12.7mm heavy machine gun. The RWS can be also armed with one 40mm automatic grenade launcher. A bank of six smoke grenade dischargers is mounted on each side at the rear part of the turret. The RWS is armed with a machine gun and might double act as a commander's sight. The commander is at least not provided with a separate side yet and there also appears to be no proper commander's cupola, but rather a few vision blocks integrated into the turret roof. The sensor system consists of at least two modules, one at each side of the frontal turret. Each module contains three sensor units. These units might be cameras or laser warning sensors. The PT-16 is proposed as a low-cost upgrade that would significantly improve capabilities of the aging tanks in the fields of protection firepower and mobility. Currently Polish Army operates 233 Tordy tanks and 120 older T-72 M1 tanks.